What's going on everybody? My name is Michael Crash Pendergast and on today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to photograph puppies and dogs. Puppies! So on today's video, we are gonna talk about how you're gonna shoot and photograph your dog and puppy. Don't actually shoot them because it's mean and inhumane. Just take photos of them. I have a lot of experience working with dogs just because I have the chance to occasionally help at the Humane Society photographing dogs when I can. And I have two of my own, Dr. Waffles and Janora. And on today's video, I'm gonna have a very special guest and it'll be We're gonna have Janora herself help me with this video. Let's have a change of scenery so we can get better shots. Ah, that's much better. Actually, hold on. Ah, even better, because it's sunny outside and I don't wanna be looking at you guys while squinting. I apologize if the audio is a little bad. We are outside, so you don't have that really nice uh, mic setup, mic boom, and since I'm working alone, I have to shoot directly on my camera. So some tips you need to know when you're shooting with puppies and dogs, and especially with animals in general, is you always wanna be at eye level. So photos don't look good when you're shooting directly down or up. Look, there's Janora. But yeah, so like I said, when you're shooting, you wanna shoot at eye level, so you wanna get lower if you need to to get eye level, depending on how tall or small the animal is. It just looks a lot cleaner when you look at photos like this and like this. So shooting an eye level. Another good thing that you should do is you should be shooting around sunlight. I like to shoot between golden hour, which is like either sunrise or sunset if I can. That's just a general rule for me whenever I like shooting outside. You can shoot any time of the day if you feel most comfortable, but you do need light because you need to be shooting at a higher shutter speed. And I don't want to compensate or give up using my ISO in order to shoot. So let's take some shots. For me personally, I like to shoot with a 70 to 200 millimeter on my Canon 5D Mark III. You don't need to be shooting on the 5D Mark III, but when you are shooting outside, you want a high shutter speed, probably 600 or more, in my personal opinion, when you're shooting something that quick, so you don't get that motion blur with their run. Uh, when they're running, try to aim for their eye. It's a little hard, so if you want, you can pre-focus on something a little bit at a closer point and wait till they run into frame. And if you have the ability to shoot multiple photos in a single shot, Try to just hold your trigger down. If not, just work on timing. Timing always helps. Another good lens to use is a 50 millimeter just because you have such a sharp focal length on there because you have a higher focal length. I think Janora is a great model today. Uh, she's doing a great job. Uh, a round of applause, everybody. A round of applause for Janora. Another tip for working with dogs is if you're working with them and you're trying to do more sitting and studio-based shooting, get treats. Try to keep their attention on the treat. If you can, have them sit, have them play. If they know some basic trick, if they have some basic tricks, it would help when you're shooting puppies and dogs. Here's some shots I took of her when she was younger. Anyways, I think that's enough photos out here. We'll go inside because Janora is getting pretty hot. It is summer over here and she is kind of a husky. So uh, let's do it. All right, so we're back indoors. I'm currently joined with Dr. Waffles. He's a poodle. Um, let's get back to what I was saying. So when you're shooting indoors and you want to keep the attention of the dog, if they don't listen to you very well, then you're probably going to want to get a treat. It's always helpful for that. So another helpful thing that's really good when you're trying to shoot with puppies and dogs is have a second person there. 
I know for me, when I'm shooting with one of my dogs, if they're too distracted by trying to play with me, they'll have a second person and it'll keep it. Because when I'm trying to shoot from a distance, all my dog wants to do is come play with me or any other dog I'm trying to shoot with. So it's always good to have a second person there. So to run through the tips and tricks, again, it'll be one, try and always shoot at eye level. Looks nicer, looks cleaner, gives the dogs more personality. Step two, try and shoot with lots of light around because you're shooting at a higher shutter speed, if, especially if they're running. You need that light in order to get a nice crisp photo without motion blur. Three, use treats. They're, they're models, so you need to bribe them. And step four, if you can have a second person, it'll help keep them entertained, it'll help keep them distracted, so that way you can get your job done. And I guess that's all the tips I have for today. That's all the tips I have for working with animals uh, for just for this video. Uh, if we want any other animals you guys wanna talk about, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you can, and I will be back sometime next week. Uh, later everyone.